And now we are going to get into our Royal Rumble preview, and we're going to talk about the 30-man Royal Rumble. And this is pretty interesting because there there are a lot of good people in the mix for this men men's 30-man Royal Rumble, Josh. There's a ton. I mean, it's just a matter of how is WWE going to do this? How are they going to portray it? Um, do they ever get the decision right? Uh, that remains to be seen. May, <laughs> that yeah. remains to be seen. Uh, you know, I think there's a couple of questions, you know, because we're also going to talk about the women's match, too. A question I have for you guys is, um, now, it's a three-parter. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, leave with, I'll leave with Alex first. Who do you think will win the Royal Rumble? Who do you think should win the Royal Rumble? And who is a surprise you think can win the Royal Rumble? And give me answers as to why to those three questions. So I picked Edge at number one because uh, Edge has the most unique Royal Rumble record. If you look at his record, he has 20 eliminations in his whole Royal Rumble wrestling career. I think he has the best chance of staying in and getting some quick eliminations because of how fast he can move and change his directory in the match. And I think he's the one to do it this year. I really think he is the top guy to win. Lyle, your thoughts. Who do you think is going to win the Royal Rumble and why? Um, now, I have one question. Is the full 30 known? Not the no, full 30. No, I don't believe 30. so. I don't believe no, the it's, not, okay, it's not the full I 30. I think Goldberg is going to win. Oh, no! No, not Oldberg. No, no not Oldberg. I think it's gonna be not Oldberg. I don't want him to. I don't want him to. I don't think I don't want him to. I want him to. I don't want him to. But I think he will. Alex, we need a t-shirt created for that. Oldberg? We need, we need Oldberg. <laughs> <laughs> we need that. I never. How did we never think of that nickname for him? Uh, That's know. a nickname. Everyone calls him that. Everyone calls him Oldberg. Everybody calls him Oldberg. Yes. Do you I've live under a rock? <laughs> when it comes to Goldberg in the news, yes, I do. <laughs> I try to <laughs> for my own sanity. Dude, dude, like Twitter and all these places, dude, they're so toxic. I try to stay under a rock for certain things. <laughs> I never heard Oldberg. Before. Yeah, you know what I mean, dude. But your head's like, oh, Lyle, you said, oh, you said Goldberg. But he's wrestling McIntyre, though. You think he's gonna be in the Rumble match too? I think if he loses, because the rumor was they <laughs> want to still do him versus Reigns. So if he loses to McIntyre, I could very much see him going out in the Rumble and winning. I gotta or go... him winning the belt and then going and facing Roman Reigns and trying, and it'll be uh, billed as them unifying the belts, and he'll lose and Roman will win. So here's who I think is going to win the Royal Rumble, and I'll give you a scenario as to why I think it would be. And I think it would actually be a very good scenario, and I think it's the one that they should go with. The guy I think that should win the Royal Rumble is Brock Lesnar. And what I think they should do is they should have Brock Lesnar win the Royal Rumble, go to SmackDown and challenge Roman Reigns, and I want to see where Paul Heyman is in this whole thing. I want to see where Paul Heyman li- – hold on. The one, the one question is, does he want to stay in Florida? Because he can't go back into Canada. Well, the, the – well, the thing of it is... I thought about that, too. No, but the thing is, is that Brock... Brock could win the match and then just not be on TV for the next two months. <laughs> but, he can't go back to what? but he can't go back to where he, he lives in Canada. He can't go back there. He would have to stay down in Florida. I mean, look, I look it, it's, up, it's up to how much money Vince is going to pay him, right? Like, and, no, no, no. You're, you're right about that, but, like, I don't... In the, I don't know if Brock would want to stay in Florida and do nothing. I don't think Brock, I don't know. Brock doesn't. I thought I'm Brock pretty sure he lives in Canada. Yeah. No, I no. I thought it was in Idaho. He lives in. He lives in a private a private place in Idaho. That he lives. He has. Ah, uh, I heard he lives in Canada. I have but, to look. I'll look. You know, I'll look it up with the Royal I'll Rumble. With the Royal Rumble, here's an interesting twist to my list. Here is I have John Morrison at number five, and I put him at number five because. There's like no chance of getting John Morrison to win the Royal Rumble because he's extremely talented and everything. I know he's a great wrestler, great grappler performance wise, but there's a small chance of him winning because he's not as over as he used to be. Like think about 2010, 2011, that time of wrestling in WWE when John Morrison was completely over with the Vans. We don't see that from John Morrison anymore. Now, is this your surprise on who you think – this is your surprise or who you think should win it? 
Uh, this is who should win it, and then my okay. my surprise would be AJ Styles. Okay. Okay. I like uh, that. AJ Styles, yeah. he he hasn't. I don't think he's won a Royal Rumble yet. No, he has not. No. No. So I'd well, like to. I, I would love to see him get a win if Nakamura or Edge somehow don't make it through. But Styles, he debuted at the Royal Rumble in 2016, so it would only be. It would only make sense to have him win this year. Lyle, who do you think um, should win it, and who is your surprise of who you think could win it? I think it should be Nakamura. Mm-hmm. He's over right now. He got over in that segment when they brought his team back. Um, my surprise, actually, I'm gonna make it two part. It should be either Nakamura or Owens. Those are two people who should win it. Mm-hmm. They need to have that. They need to make another main event star. The company desperately needs that. And my surprise mm-hmm. would be Rollins. Okay, I like that. So who I think should win it, 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 it's interesting. Lyle brought up some very good names. I liked your theory on Morrison too, Alex. I did, because when John Morrison came over back to WWE, he was a huge hit. It was a hit. In For a short time, yeah. Ground For a really it. short time. Um, I definitely, I, I'm with Lyle. I think Nakamura is a guy that I think, he, like you said, he's so over right now. He's earned the right to have his run. Um. And I think another guy I think that should win it in my eyes is Daniel Bryan because Daniel Bryan is once again he's over and he's a guy that everybody loves. He's a he's somebody that can carry the load um in the company. I mean that's just really what it comes down to. A surprise for me, Big E. I think Big E is a guy. Big E is so over right now. He is so over. First off, what Big E has done, he's his talent is undeniable. It is. For his size and his agility and his stature to do the things that he does is incredible. Go look at his smack talk segments he's had with Paul Haven the last month. They've been incredible. This is what Paul Haven does. Paul Haven makes magic. Even if he doesn't work with the person on television, Mm -hmm. he makes magic. And look at Apollo Crews now. Apollo Crews is now going to be one of the biggest heels in this company in the next few weeks. You'll see. The thing of it is, is that Big E is so over right now that I would love to see a match with him and Roman Reigns. Because, look, let's be realistic. When Kofi Kingston beat Daniel Bryan two years ago, people were ecstatic about it. I was one of them. We were at that match. It was a great feeling because Kofi earned that right to win that match and to have his moment. Big E has earned the right to have his moment and win a big match. He deserves it. He, We talk about the New Day and everything like that. In my opinion, Big E... Out of the three guys, Kofi, Xavier, and and, and Biggie, I think Biggie was the most popular one because what he brought his mic, I agree. his mic. Work I agree with that. His dude, look at the look at what he could do in mm-hmm. the ring, and look at his mic work. He's hysterical on the mic. He's funny. You can't and, and he's and he's he's. I would love to see him and Roman go back. I would love to see him after him and Roman. Now I know people are saying, oh, um. I even heard one person say, what about, do you think The Rock will be in it? But they're going to save The Rock for when they go to WrestleMania for Los Angeles in two years. Mm -hmm. When they can have a full stadium at SoFi. It's it's going to be in Los Angeles. And that's going to be a massive, massive, massive hit that match. Roman and The Rock at SoFi Stadium. That's going to be one of the better main events WrestleMania will ever have. Because those two together will make it good. Um... But to me, I think a guy that should win it, I think, like I said, is Shinsuke. Another is Daniel Bryan. And a guy that I could surprise is Big E. I think it's time. I, I think it's time to let him have his moment for sure. Let's talk about the women's match. Women's Royal but, Rumble. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, this is going to be a fascinating because I, the, I don't think there's ever been a time where it's been more open. That there's I just not agree that, with that. Really? Why? I think it's very obvious who's going to win. I, I think it's very obvious it's going to be Charlotte. I completely disagree. I, I think it's extremely obvious. I don't. They're gonna do a quote. They're gonna have. Uh, nope. They're gonna have her win, and then it, it's gonna the tag team titles are gonna they're gonna lose the tag team titles, and then they're gonna face each other at Mania. Nope. I don't think they're gonna go that route. Nope. Alex, what do you think? I don't think they're gonna go that route. But I heard there's a rumor of the the for the women's Royal Rumble. They're bringing in a surprise entrance like Kelly yep. Kelly, uh, no, Caitlyn. Caitlin, uh, who else? I love Kelly Kelly back. Uh, I know who else could I think? For me. 
yeah, that I, I know. saw you're on the list. You're, yeah, you're like a little pervert, you nut job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of restraining orders, I think she still has one against you, pal. Uh, even, even I wish. Even I have Instagram. her autograph. Even on Instagram. Um, <laughs> see, to, to me, I got this. There's this vibe that I have. Like, I don't know what it is. One or two people is going to show up. To me, I think for somehow, I don't know if it's Ro- if Ronda's going to come back. Oh, here's a big one I just thought of. Tamil T- 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 Dashwood. Lynch. And the others, Becky Lynch. I love Ronda. I would love for her I, to come I tell back. You, I, I'm telling you. I'd watch the main roster again if she I, came back. I, I, I got to tell you, there's a feeling I have. Not Tanil Dashwood. To, um, she... I was thinking of uh, who's who's not on. She was on Impact. She's not anymore because she dropped the belt. God. Ooh, uh, Tessa? Um, T- Tessa Blanchard, Tessa? yes. That would, would be a know, big That would be know. a big one. I, I She's I still in Mexico. Yeah, that's the thing. She's still in Mexico. That's it. Well, look, we say that, but who knows where she is now? Isn't that the point of a surprise? We don't know. You're right yep. there. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I I like that by Alex. That was I don't know. There's just some, I have this vibe that either Ronda's going to come back because Vince is going to beg her to come back because you have to understand this year's WrestleMania is going to be live at a football stadium this year. Yeah, and it's it, it, it's going it's going to be a tough draw with the with the with with the virus and mm-hmm. the pandemic still exactly. going on. That they're going to and it's in a Alex. I know you live in Florida. <laughs> no disrespect to Florida. Flor, listen, Alex. I, and like I said, Tampa is not what New York, Ve- Vegas, California, those uh, places are that have those places where people can go. And see and do sightseeing, and they don't have like they don't have like what's the New York has is Manhattan, California has Los Angeles, Vegas has the Strip. There's certain you know Louisiana has Bourbon Street in uh, mm-hmm. New Orleans, New York Times Square. You know what I mean? That's why I said that. Um, you know, it's um, it. that's that's it. That's okay. Um, Tampa is a tougher sell because they don't have that place where you could go. And I love Tampa, Florida. Love mm-hmm. Tampa. They don't have that place where you could go sightseeing. So Never been. What they need, well, you won't go this year either. So, <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, technically, I could. We were supposed to go last year to Mania. Yeah, so for I know. people who but, don't know. Hey, but you know what though? No, we'll you haven't told it, me. We'll, we'll save it for LA in the next three years. <laughs> I'd rather go to Dallas. To be honest, I'd rather go to Dallas. Uh, I don't want, no way. Are you crazy? LA is so much better. Ugh. <laughs> no, I, I want to go to Dallas. Dallas. Dallas is a great city. I want the food. How would you know? I, I, yeah. How would you know? Everything Dallas I've heard about city? Dallas, it's a great city. I, I, feel, I know people who went there. If I... All right. If I, if I, if I, I want to go to Dallas. If I just treat Dallas. LA and Dallas, good. Then you could go to Dallas on your own time. See ya. Bye. Okay. Have fun. Alex, Alex will I'll go, go with Scott and, and uh, Gentleman. That's cool. Alex will go with me to LA. Yeah, I actually want to oh, see. Oh, I actually want to see the Rock, the Rock, the Rock pass the torch to Roman Reigns. Exactly. Plus, you would get Rock Roman at in LA. Mm-hmm. You would get Rock Roman. You're not gonna get that in Dallas. No, and you're not gonna you'll get, get it. You'll, you'll, get, you'll get Triple H versus uh, John Cena. Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H Goldberg. Yeah, great. Goldberg. No, but um. <laughs> You know, I like I said, I going back to what we were talking about before, I think just Rhonda and Rhonda or Becky to me are one of the two that I still have in my head. I think it's going to be a surprise and win this match and they need to have a draw for Tampa. They they, they, and, they definitely and, do. And remember and remember, it's two nights. Mm-hmm. So they have to have two main events. Two main events. So well, exactly. people are speculating they could bring Taker back. Take her uh Taker's done. No, I, I saw that but then there were reports that people within the WWE said he's done. They have said he's done. I hope so. He, he, I want him to be done. I think yeah. it's better for him. 